back to Moonstone Craft and welcome back to kind of a whip and chat. Uh, it's gonna be a tag this time. So I'm gonna answer some questions in this get to know me tag that I found. I'll put the link down below uh, of this tag. Uh, it's kind of two tags in one. Um, I'm not gonna do every question, just the ones that I think are interesting enough. And in the meantime, I'm also gonna work on this TSA. Uh, it's Freedom Horse by Rachel Frout and Trash Studios Art. Um, it's a square and I'm gonna start with the first color. But first, first question um, that I'm gonna answer is dogs or cats? And I kind of have a funny story about this one. Because I kind of switched <laughs> in the last couple of years. Um... I used to be a, a cat lover and I got a cat when I was like in, I don't know, when I was like very young still and I was afraid to speak in my classes or anyone, I was very shy. Um, so as a reward for me speaking in class they would give me a cat and we went to the shelter to get a cat, so it was a shelter cat. Um, and we used to have him for a couple of years. Unfortunately, uh, after we moved to the town I'm living in now, he was fine, but he kind of lost. Got, got, he kind of got lost, I think, uh, eventually, because he went out one day and never came back. We don't know what exactly happened to him. Um, but, you know, I was still very young when it happens. Uh, but it was sad. It was sad, but I didn't... I know we've looked for him a bit, but it's hard to look for cats uh, because, you know, they don't come to your... Well, at least our cat didn't come to their name or anything. Um, so, I used to be a cat uh, lover. Um, I'm thinking, but, and, before I continue the story, uh, I used to be afraid of dogs. I was afraid of dogs when I was a kid. I really was. Uh, and I think one thing that had to do with me being afraid of dogs was that when I was little and I was playing in the backyard and the backyard was like, uh, you know, oh god, how do you say that? closed in. That's what I was saying. It was closed off, so nobody could come in or out without opening a gate or something. But all of a the sudden, there was standing this big-ass German Shepherd, which is big, which is a big dog if you're small as a child, staring at me in my backyard. And I was very afraid. I was already afraid of dogs, but that scared the crap out of me, of course, as a little kid. Just playing with my dolls in the back, in the back Car, uh, backyard and you know this dog was just suddenly staring at me he didn't do anything it was one of the neighborhood dogs that walked in our backyard because the gate was open so he was like oh this is interesting let's go in here um, at least that's what my mom told me later on um, but yeah that was kind of uh, traumatic that's what I remember from and it, I was very young at that moment but I still remember that. That's um, a memory. Um, so I was scared for for quite a lot of years. I was scared for dogs, but then uh, during lunch breaks at school, I had to. I went with my friends to eat at her house, and she had a dog. So I kind of got used to dogs being around me. And my sister always really wanted a dog, uh, but my parents, of course, didn't do it. Also because it's a lot of responsibility and we were still young but also because we had a cat and I was a bit afraid of dogs but eventually when my cat disappeared a um, couple of year couples of years later we got uh, a dog and I'll actually insert a picture of my cat in this video as well of me and my cat together when we were younger and of course and if I can find it I'll see if I can find a picture of my dog when he was a puppy and he got to us and I was very young as well and he was laying on my 
lap. He, st he could still fit back then. Now he can't. Um, but that's my current dog, Baloo. So we got him... I don't know. How old should I have been? Maybe when I was... Wait, I can count that back, of course, because I know how old he is. We got him in 2007. Because he was born on 777. Which I think is very cute, in a way. Um, but yeah, from that moment on, I was not afraid of dogs anymore. And I kind of like dogs. Uh, my dog changed everything as well, of course. Uh, but now I'm kind of... Uh, it switched, because now I'm kind of a bit afraid of cats. Because my cat didn't used to lay on your lap or do anything. He wasn't very, like, cuddly and stuff. Um, but most cats are. And they really want to sit on your lap and then the nails. That's what scares me about cats these days. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I didn't used to be afraid of them, but now I am because of the nails. I don't like cats sitting on your, you know, your lap and then going... Err. But it, it, it hurts. I don't like that. So, yeah, I kind of became not really a cat person. Uh, so for now, I must say, in this period of my life, I'm definitely cats. Uh, I'm definitely dogs, <laughs> not cats. But it's kind of funny that it switched around. Um, tea or coffee is the next one that I want to answer. I'm going for tea. I've always been a tea person. I could drink a lot of tea. At work I drink a lot of tea. Uh, coffee I only drink certain kind. I only really like one kind of coffee. And you have to have the machinery for it. They don't have that at my work. So now that I'm currently working at ho from home it's fine because I can use my own machine. Uh, it's gonna a uh, latte macchiato um, with some caramel. Um, how do you call that? I don't know. Some caramel lim lemonade, I guess, uh, in there, and that's it, I guess. But it's from a specific brand, um, you know. So I'm too specific to really like coffee that much. I only like my own kind. And with tea, I kind of like most teas. I don't really like green teas. But I like every other tea. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, definitely a tea person. Let me see what the next one is. <sighs> mm. Oh yeah, have any books you read changed your life? Well, I'm not sure about changing your life. Uh, I guess they changed my life in the way that I felt something reading the book. Uh, I'm a very emotional person, so um, I with TV, movies, anything. If I'm really into the story and I'm, you know, I feel I have some sentiment with the story or I feel for the characters, I'm definitely gonna cry when something happens to them or. In TV series, it's mostly not when they die, but it's like when their relatives react to their death. That's, that kills me every freaking time. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have that, but yeah. So, um, but books uh, changed me kinda in that way that I felt like I, you know, I had an experience with them. I had the experience of feeling and having enjoyment out of it and, you know, reading a story that I'm never gonna forget. Uh, I remember reading for school multiple years ago uh, a book, I think it was about death uh, of a teenager or something, a teenage girl that was gonna die and something like that. Um, and it really impacted me. I know, I remember not that much about it. I don't remember the title or anything. But I do remember that I cried a lot reading that book, especially towards the ending. Um, so yeah, but a more recent book that I really, really enjoyed. Uh, I actually got it. If I can get it. Is Rosie by Leslie Pierce. Um, she actually recently brought out some more books, but... I don't know. I never read anything else from her. Uh, this is an old one. 
Let me see. It's from... Firstly published in 1989, so it's a bit old, and it's play it's is uh, playing around 1945. Like the first chapter is in 1945, so and it's a thick book. But when I get into a book, you know, I'm not gonna stop anymore. Like at the mo, I think halfway through, I was like hooked, and I couldn't stop anymore. I think the ending, I had so much left, and it was evening, and I couldn't stop. So at like 2 a.m., I'm all still busy reading this book. Because I wanted to know how it ended, but that one was a roller coaster. Um, I loved it so much. Uh, I, as I was saying, I did look into some of the some of the other books the writer wrote, uh, but I've seen some people say that they don't like this older book because they read the new stuff first. So I'm not really sure if I like. I'm gonna like her new stuff, her newer stuff. Um, I'm not into reading that much lately, so uh, I've been on one book for a very long time. But that's a uh, that's a book that definitely changed my life for the better, I guess. Um, what's your favorite movie? That's a hard one. Um, but I think I'll have to go with like a horse movie. Like I really, really love Flicka. Which is a horse movie, um, of course. I've watched it as a kid and I was so into it. And that's also it has a cry scene. I cried when I was watching this as a kid. So I've been emotional since the beginning, you guys. I was at a musical once from Tarzan, I think. And I was crying uh, when something happened. And I was like, what is happening? Because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't understand yet that I could cry for something like a story. Because I was very young back then. I was like, why do I have tears on my cheeks? I was so confused. But I was, yeah, I've always been an emotional person. I don't think that ever will change. Um, but yeah, I would say Flicka is my favorite movie. Uh... Let me see. Like, how many siblings do you have? I only have one sister. I've spoken about her before. She's older than me. I have one older sister. She's already living with her boyfriend together. And I made a nice five panel for them. Um, what's your go-to fast food order? I kind of only order fast food from McDonald's. Um, which is a thing here in the Netherlands. You can order food from McDonald's. Uh, and I always go for the McChicken because I don't really like hamburgers so the choice gets limited uh, when I was little I would always get the Happy Meal with the chicken nuggets and I used to have chicken nuggets for a long time when I grew up until they released the McChicken and I've been hooked on the McChicken since then so I order always the same uh, I make chicken burger. Uh, burger. Um, at McDonald's. Um, I don't know. We're not that much into fast food here in the Netherlands. I think McDonald's is the biggest here. We do have KFC, which I also like because it's chicken, of course. But I don't get to go there a lot, like once a year maybe, <laughs> uh, because it's not in the neighborhood and. We do have Burger King, but that's not my, my kind of thing, because it's burgers. So, yeah. That's about that. Do you use a PC or a Mac? That's a funny story. I've always used PC. I love my Windows. Uh, I'm using that right now. For all my video stuff as well. And my social media and just my normal daily life. As well, all my work is also uh, Windows and PC. Uh, but I do actually have a Mac laptop uh, and my phone on my phone and everything I use iPhone so like with phones and tablets and everything I'm fully Apple but with computers I'm like fully Windows so but I do have a Mac laptop I just I never use it and I just couldn't get used to it it was a refurbished one so it was um, less expensive uh, but it's not like the best ever as well, so 
yeah I still have it don't use it very often actually not at all at the moment and it just never got into it so I guess it was a a buy that I shouldn't have done <laughs> I wouldn't buy uh, a Mac so fast anymore either way anyway um Let me just check. There's more questions. What's your favorite Netflix show? That's hard. I just watched Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Bridger, 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 Jeez, why can I say that? Bridgerton. Bridgerton. God. Bridgerton. I don't know if I said that right, but man, I. Why I can't pronounce that right now? I don't know. Uh, it's not coming out, so I'm not gonna try anymore. I just watched that. I kind of enjoyed that. Also, I was getting emotional at the ending and I didn't expect that with a series like that. Uh, which is good. Uh, I'm also watching Wings, the saga, because I've of course watched the TV show when I was younger. Of course in Dutch, so <laughs> different times. Um, but I watched uh, 13 Reasons Why and I think that was a very good Netflix show. I've watched some other Netflix shows as well, I think. I haven't watched Stranger Things and I don't really want to. I know, that's controversial. Um, yeah, I must have watched more, but I can't remember them all. Oh yeah, Drive to Survive, that's like the, the Formula One documentary series that they do every year. That's definitely one of my favorites. It's coming out again in March. So I'm gonna be happy about that. Um, what is the next question? What theme parks have you been to? Well, mostly I've been to theme parks here in the Netherlands, of course. <laughs> um, just normal theme parks with like uh yeah normal things that are in theme parks they're not really themed here though much in the netherlands they're just all the same mostly except for maybe the efteling which is like a very uh they have like the fairy tales uh really laid out in that in that park so you have like a fairy tale forest where all the fairy tales are told and it's like a, it was a real experience as a kid so that's the one that stands out here in the netherlands i have been to movie park germany which is where they have kind of like movie stuff and stuff like that i didn't really really like it and i have been with my family to disneyland Par paris um because that's of course the closest Disneyland. That's the only thing I don't. I don't. I think that's the only one here in Europe. Um, so we've been there, but I was very young. I remember, you know, having all the Disney characters, and we could be. We stayed in a hotel, and I have all these pictures and autographs of the the people that are dressed as like the Disney characters and stuff. So it's fun to look back at, but you know, it's more of a kid thing. Um, what's your favorite ice cream color? Uh, not color. <laughs> what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Can I see how long I've been recording? Yes, okay, this way I can see it. Um, ice cream flavor. Um, I'm not an ice cream person and I know I'm like the only person in the world that says that like everyone in my family loves ice cream I just don't like it that much I'm not an ice cream person like in summer my, my parents always order ice cream or they go out for ice cream I'm like I don't get it I don't really want ice cream they're like eating three three like water icy things a day to cool off and stuff and I'm like I'll just rather drink than eat ice cream I don't know I'm not an ice cream kind of person but we do have a very good 
ice cream uh, shop near us. Uh, I really love their ice. They're also out of. E they are from an Italian owner, so you know that's the good ice. Uh, ice cream. So I always take the flavors mango and cinnamon. That's the only. That's the two flavors I always take together. That's like my two favorite flavors. I think cinnamon is actually one of my favorite flavors for ice cream. And I think mango also is very nice ice cream. I also also always love vanilla. Vanilla is good. So uh, yeah. That are some of my favorite ice cream. What was your dream job as a kid? Well, when I was really young. You know, when you just first start out and you don't know that many uh, jobs. Like a kid, you know, just the normal ones. I really wanted to work in a bakery. Like a baker. Now I'm like, how? I'm never gonna do that because I'm not a morning person. And if you want to work in a bakery, you have to stand up really early in the morning to bake everything. Like the bread and everything so that's ready to be freshly, you know, uh, sold on that same day. So no, that would never be anything I would do because I wouldn't be able to stand up that early. I'm an evening person. I'm not a morning person at all. Um, so yeah, no. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Um, I'm also just checkerboarding everything right now. I'm not filling it in yet. I have the pleasure of doing that when I get through this color. And there's a lot of this color in this bit. But I enjoy this color. Um, what's your favorite sports team? I don't really have a favorite sports team. Of course, I always support the country, so like the Dutch teams that are competing somewhere in every sport. Uh, I'm not watching it every time, but you know, they're Dutch, so they're fine. Um, but like a real sports team, I guess that's only in. Uh, Formula One that I could support a sports team that I'm really into right now in Formula One uh, and if I had to choose a, like a, a team right there I guess I would go for McLaren Have you moved from home? Where to? And how was the experience? I actually haven't I haven't moved from home I've lived all my life with my parents I'm a boring girl but also every time I come back from vacation I'm just happy to be back I'm happy to be back in my flat uh, country like the Netherlands I'm so happy when we cross the border and everything is like I know it and I, I love the food here I love everything I don't want to live in another country I just love it here which is a good sign I guess I'm not really a person that wants to live uh, in another country uh, but of course I hope to move out with my parents hopefully this year so yeah that would be my first thing I have been uh, on vacation on my own like in a hotel on my own um, that was scary at first uh, but I'm pretty good at doing things alone so I'm not too worried about that yet Let's see. Um, how many countries have you traveled to? Um, I haven't counted them, but they're all into in Europe. Let me say that. Uh, I think I've talked about vacations before uh, in a early kid up uh, last year. I will link that in the eye so you can see it. If you haven't seen that because it was back when when I had like less than a hundred subscribers I think here on YouTube so you might not have seen it but if you're interested in my, some of my story time about vacations you can check that out um, but I've been uh, only here in Europe I haven't been outside of Europe um, but I've been to 
of course the Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, France, Austria, Switzerland, uh, one day in Italy, I guess, <laughs> so it's not really that long. Um, Czech Republic, I think, Denmark, Sweden, in of U United Kingdom, of course. Um, Poland, but I think that's, I think that's it. that's it, that's it. So it's like 12 countries? Well, 11 if I exclude the Netherlands, of course. So, uh, yeah. We've been uh, traveling quite a lot, I guess. Uh, of course, not a lot, not the last year. We haven't been anywhere except for the Netherlands, but we know all we all know why that is um but yeah let me know where you guys all have been and if you're in america have you ever been out of uh out of the usa good question for you because i know you guys uh sometimes stay in the usa just go to different uh states um and that's kind of a bit like europe i guess Europe is kind of like a bit like states because we're so close together and the Netherlands is kind of a small country oh I forgot Luxembourg I've been to Luxembourg as well <laughs> so yeah um, we can travel easily um, okay pets I already talked about pets What's your favorite color? I think that's a hard question. When I was young, I would have used, I've used, I, I would used to say pink, pink. I was like a pink girl. I love pink, and I still think pink is a pretty color. So don't get me wrong. I think purple is a pretty color, and I think yellow is also yellow has been a, a favorite color of mine for a few years. But it's, I don't really have a favorite color anymore. Like with furniture and all, I like white, which isn't really a color, so... Yeah, it's different. Also, I think I should end this video soon because the light is, uh, the daylight is going away. And I still have to edit this video and upload it. Uh, but let's do one more question. Like these questions, like why, what time is your bedtime? Late, a bit too late, <laughs> a lot too late in the last, last couple of weeks. I'm going to bed too late. Well, I'm going to bed on time. I'm just sleep, not going to sleep on time. Oh yeah, what does the last text message you received say? Uh, my mom just, through WhatsApp, my mom just asked me what I wanted with or uh, French fry, French, French fries. So I do have to answer that as soon as I finish this video. Um, maybe some chicken nuggets. I've talked about them. Now I might be interested in them. Um, and on my actual text, like, like old time texts where you really, you know, pay for it. Um, I think my last text was actually from FedEx that my parcel from the Ibai Moon shop would be delivered. So yeah, it's just things like that. Uh, I think on Instagram, like Instagram Messenger, it's probably a talk with Ashley about her event in August. So. I think she was sharing uh, the group that's on Facebook that uh, share events, diamond painting events. Okay, just one more, <laughs> just one more, because why not? Um, have you ever written a blog post? What was it about? Okay, so 
I have written blog posts for my college, like my school, my study, uh, because that was part of it. And I struggled with that, so I'm, I'm never gonna write blog posts just for fun. I'm just not a writer kind of girl. I don't really like to, you know, write stuff like that. But the last blog post I did was actually for school, I think, which was about social media. Because I was all about social media during my studies, so that way I could still, you know, feel some, find some joy in writing about it. I remember I did an article about, like, the algorithm on Instagram, which of course changed in the meantime, I think. Um, did I do some other things as well? Oh, what were the other art articles about? I had a, like a, a video, because you have to do different formats. Uh, one video and two articles, I think, but I can't remember. So that's gonna be it. Also, I just filled in this whole section. So I can now, you know, I, I mean, I checkerboarded this whole section from this color. So now I can fill it in. But maybe I'll do it different this time and just do all the colors, checkerboard all everything and make a nice pick for the Instagram and then, you know, fill the colors in. That could be cool. So I'm definitely gonna do that, I think. Uh, but first, I want to thank you all for watching. We'll do some more uh, of this tag in a part two, I think. This is just gonna be part one because I enjoy as answering some of these questions. Uh, so as I was saying before, I just uh, pick the questions that I like and like to answer that I think I have a story about or is interesting for you guys to know. So I didn't do every question. Sometimes they are doubled as well. Um, but I hope you get you got to know me a bit more, I guess, and uh, you enjoyed this little whip and chat in tech form. Um, so I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you the next time. Bye. Uh -huh.